everyone, it's Dolphin Treasure here, and welcome to this week's little vlog video. I'm going to show off my little dollhouse that I've been working on for a while. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted to wait until it was completely all done, but, you know, judging by what it looks like now, it actually does look like it is done. Although, I want to get more stuff for it. This, this hobby is actually really addicting. <laughs> it's very addicting, but it's fun. It's really nice to be able to decorate your own space. Kind of like, you know, how we decorate our own houses and stuff like that too. And this kind of reflects how we would like our spaces to look. And I don't know, it's very therapeutic. It's very cathartic. I actually have a lot of stuff in place already. And I wanted to show you the progress since the last time. Um, I've been showing like little snippets here and there on my Instagram and stuff like that about what the roof looks like, what the walls look like, and what the outside of the house looks like. Um, but I haven't shown like much of the furniture or anything like that because I wanted it to be nice and complete when it was all said and done. But I wanted to show off what I have so far. What I did is I pulled out all of my accessories that I actually had in the house and I wanted to show some of them off because oh my god, some of them are the sweetest and cutest little things. And I have them all laid out here. There's also some up here by the TV. <laughs> and I got like all sorts of like little things for the kitchen and I got like little bath toys and stuff for the bathroom. That's actually really neat. And I got all these cute little accessories. The cookie dough one is my absolute favorite because I love eating cookie dough. And under the sink, there's actually pots and pans there. It's kind of messy a little bit, but I wanted to show you, show it off. There's the pans, there's the dishes up there, there's the cups on the side, and there's like little, uh, there's like a little creamer and a, and a sugar saucer back there. Uh, I can't, depth perception, bad. <laughs> but I actually really love the details of these cans right here. Oh, well, they're not really cans, but let me see. Let's see if that'll focus. Will that focus? Yeah, look at the details. And this is actually pretty heavy. The stuff that you can actually, um, it comes with, you can actually stack on top of, stack on top of each other. So that's pretty cool. Like nice little pantry food or something to put in your fridge. This tiny little fire extinguisher <laughs> that I keep underneath the sink. And then there's also a little plastic spray bottle. Tiny little plastic spray bottle. It doesn't stand up very well because the underside is a bit uncut. It's uneven, but it's so super cute. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll put that underneath my sink. <laughs> what I was going for with my house was a beach themed house. So you'll see a lot of ocean aquatic creatures and you'll see lots of blues. You'll see there's Pringles cans here. The tops actually do come off of those. I'll show you. There. <laughs> That's a good way of showing it. They actually do come off. They are a little uneven on the bottom, but they're actually pretty good. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. And they actually got real product on them, you know, which is pretty cool. So the place that I bought these from must be working with them or something, because that's, that's really awesome. I love the attention to the detail, too. It's so tiny. It's just so adorable. Now, I got this from, um, what is it, Michael's? And I don't really like the way the dog food looks. Honestly, they it just looks like shit that's in a dog dish. Or it looks like peanuts. I don't know which. But, I mean, it's not bad. If I can find something better, I'll replace it. But that's actually not too shabby. And I got these teeny tiny little little toothbrushes. Oh, that one, that's really cute. And that actually came with uh, toothpaste. Which is right here. This toothpaste. Right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so small. I love it. And I got like little seashells. And where I actually got the seashells from, what I originally did was I bought a little bag of five of these buckets. And I was not sure exactly what I wanted to do with them. But since I wanted it to be a beach house and I love collecting seashells in real life, I was like, oh, maybe I can have buckets of seashells lying around. So I found some seashell garland right here and I've just been like taking them off little by little and just putting them in the buckets like that and just scattering them around the house kind of like little easter eggs and I'll show you the house in a second more accessories I got a nice working mirror Ooh, that's really crisp I love that my little kitchen table setup that I had with a little bit of coffee some cake and some brownies now what's cool about these brownies is that they are individual pieces individual if I could focus, <laughs> individual pieces of brownies. That is so cool. And if you look at it really up close, it looks like an actual fudge brownie. That is so neat. I love that. And then I got these little books. Now these books right here are fake. These books are actually real. 
but they don't have anything in the pages. The pages are actually blank. And I have an example actually over here on the bed. <laughs> like I have an artist that lives in this house and what is an artist without a sketchbook? Well, still an artist. Um, but what's cool about this is that I can like go into these pages individually. Hold on, let me see if I can. Yeah, just like that. So you can actually open these pages and actually write in them or do something with them if you want to. Like I turn this into my little sketchbook. So I got a little flower in there. That's really neat. I love that. And then I just have that resting on the bed next to these tiny little pencil. <laughs> Let's see. I can get it to focus. Focus. It's still out of focus. Focus. Mm, a little bit better. Yes, I got this tiny little pencil and I actually bought a whole little thing of pencils uh, that are right there on the desk and I have that up in the little art area. Of course I got little knickknacks and stuff like that and I got furniture for the kitchen and all that. It's really super cool when it's all set up and this fabric right here is actually going to replace the bedding because I don't like floral. I, I, I don't really care for that. It doesn't really mesh well with the house. So I'm going to use that to change the bedding and I'm going to also make curtains out of it so I can put it on the tops of the windows only, not actually hanging down. This is my spice rack down here. They're not individual, they're all glued in place. And actually, uh, oops, actually, it's not bad, but it's a little too big. Like I expected it to be a little bit smaller. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It's, it's more like de decor more than anything else like that they would use for actual cooking. So. Oh, that's not a big deal though. Okay, I'll make it work. What I really loved was these little things right here. They have one for rice, they have one for tea, they have one for flour, and of course the one for sugar. And I kind of wanted this house to replicate my own and I actually have these jars sitting out on my counters. And that's, whoops, that is what I wanted. It's really hard to hold on to these things. Now I'm gonna show you what the house looks like from the inside with the flooring and stuff. Do -do -do -do. Oh, it's actually very lovely. It's very lovely. We actually have this. Uh, I actually found this and all these pieces actually. I found this and I found this and I found that wallpaper right there all at like Hobby Lobby or, and uh, Michael's and this is actually bubbled a little bit so it kind of looks like it's diamond and it's actually like fabric type of paper. It's like I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's not felt but it's, uh, it's a particular type of fabric and it's very soft to the touch. Sorry, I'm shaking. Um, I'm really excited about tomorrow, so I'm just shaking. <laughs> and this was actually really nice. I liked the way that this looked. Unfortunately, the way I glued it down, it kind of warps it a little bit, but you know, lesson learned. This is my very first house that I've ever decorated. My very first dollhouse, I should reiterate, <laughs> that I've ever decorated. So lesson learned there. But of course, that's my kitchen. That's the living room area. And I wanted to give it a beach theme, like I mentioned before. Um, the beach theme colors I picked were like a blue, an, a coral orange, um, and a yellow. And you've seen bits and pieces of the top here, but I'm going to show you that. And I love this bay window. You know, I have my little knickknacks sitting out there, sitting on the windowsill. Um, but yeah, this was really fun to paint. I really liked it. I didn't do so well with the ceiling. I just kind of left it alone a little bit, but... I mean, it's still pretty cool. So then up to the second floor, we have the bathroom with the lovely, I thought this was so friggin' adorable, the lovely seahorse wallpaper. I thought it was so super cool. I gotta tell you what, it was really hard to actually like cut this to the perfect size that this is because this was already glued in place. So I had to kind of guess. So that's why it's a little uneven, but again, learning curve. Learning, learning, learning curve. And then this is the bedroom area. So same floor as downstairs and I have a little bit of it back here. Back here is actually where I'm gonna put like my little art stuff, my little artist nook over there. And I thought I would have some room for a computer desk, but I don't. Not with, all, not with the furniture set that I bought, I don't have enough room. And now I know I can like take the furniture out and use something different and whatnot. Uh, but that'll come in the future sometime. It's really cool the way that the light reflects off the carpet because the carpet turns green or it looks green. It's so freaking cool. I love the way that happens. That's all the flooring. And then I can show you the sides and the front of the house. So part of the mess, we actually kind of use this table for all of our crafts. I've been working on some paintings. I got my little Jacksepticeye painting over there and I'm working on a Markiplier one right now. Um, but this is what the house looks like from the top. And I went with a fire coral 
type of a color for the shingles of the roof. And for the outside, I found this really awesome wooden panel wallpaper that I fell in love with because it looks worn out and it actually gives it a really homey cottage kind of feel and that's exactly what I wanted to go for. If I can get some good lighting right here. But this is what the front of the house looks like. Now, I thought, oh yeah, I have a little statue there. Now what I thought what I could do with these panels is that I can just like cut them out and shape them up and just like paste it over. But no, what I actually had to do, because it was really difficult to measure everything once this was all put together because I had a lot of stuff in the way, I had to individually cut them out strip by strip and I glued them down strip by strip. It's so cool because it looks uneven. It is uneven, obviously. I mean, I have some gaps and stuff, but I like it. I kind of like it because it gives it so much character. And I give it a story like, you know, an older couple lives here that the husband actually built for his wife or something. And, uh, you know, he built it out of love. He built it from scratch. And the house has lasted this long on the beach. So, you know, it's like, well, why try to fix something that is not broken, but just looks broken? You know, like he tried his best. He did his absolute best to build the house, you know, for them. Kind of like the movie Up. You know, <laughs> that's the kind of idea that I was going for. And then this is what the other side of the house looks like. Yeah. So this was the first side that I was playing with and you can see it's kind of warped from the glue. So I did the less is more approach and it actually worked so well. It looks so, so, so nice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the furniture in it so you guys can see what it all looks like together. All right, this is what the house looks like with all the furniture so far in place. I don't think I could fit any more furniture in here. But, definitely more accessories, but here we go. Ready. Oh, look at, look, it's so pretty. I love the way that everything fits in here. You can only cramp so much in here and sometimes less is more approach, but me personally, I like something that's really cozy, really homey, something that kind of surrounds you, but doesn't bury you. Like minimalism is nice and everything, but only to a certain extent. I like cozy and this just looks like the perfect little living room to sit in, you know? Someone is sitting there enjoying a little plate of cookies. <laughs> There's a pile of books under there that someone can just pick up and read. Little seashells just scattered around the house. You know, there's some in the kitchen there. There's one right up there and some upstairs in the bedroom. But man, doesn't this just look comfy? I love this. And of course the windows still need their curtains and stuff. There's one little decoration behind the couch. It's a little seagull. A little flower and a uh, fish. You can't see it very well. That's so cool and I love where the TV is because everybody can see it. You know, if somebody actually lived here, they could just sit there and look up. They can lay down on the couch and look up or whatever. It's so nice. And that, and that yellow flower vase just brings it all together, I think. <laughs> and now into the kitchen. I love how the kitchen looks, to be perfectly honest. I absolutely love it. There's my plate of brownies. I got a little piece of cake and some coffee. And there's my coffee mug. Um, and in that fridge, I actually found like little uh, little trinkets, you know, little seashell trinkets. And I was like, oh, I can use those as magnets on the fridge. <laughs> so you got a little crab down there. You got a starfish and you got a lobster. And then I use the other one for a door handle. And I use some decorum that I got um, from my sister-in-law and some like little rubber toys that I found. Some little rubber dolphin toys and a fish. And I put the fire extinguisher up there as well. And up there too, there's the, the there's a blue whale up there and, and there's a starfish. But, you know, my pots and pans in place. I got one, oops, baking inside of the oven. There's the doggy dishes. <laughs> I actually just stuck everything to the wall with sticky tack. And then we go upstairs. It's very bare in here. I gotta put more stuff in here. So I'm not exactly sure what else I'm gonna put, but I need to. It's where I have my art supplies, and I got my little bucket of pencils, I got my little toolbox, and I got my little painting back there. So for the artists of the family that likes to be back there, technically, the washer and dryer don't have to be there. They can actually have their own room, but you know, my house is really, really small, but I can always use it for a future house that I'll build myself. And of course I got the dresser drawers and got another bucket of seashells and got some more books. 
And then on the on the bed, you have your sketchbook and a little pencil. And the back there, I got a little cup. You know, it could be filled with tea, coffee, water, whatever it is. And then it's a little book I'm writing about myself, my autobiography, or my biography. <laughs> my autobiography, that doesn't make sense. And then into the bathroom, where I use the rest of those little rubber toys I was talking about as like little bath toys. They're so cute. I love them. There's um, empty space back there, and originally the books that I had, like, over there and downstairs on the uh, shelf right there, they actually went on this shelf here. But I didn't, I think that shelf is a little too big, so I'm going to use it somewhere else or somehow else for the bathroom. Um, and, of course, I'm going to get, like, towels and stuff. It's still a little too bare in here for my taste, so i got to get something else to decorate it. But I love the way that the wallpaper looks and everything just comes together so nicely. i got the sink under there. i got my little, little toothbrushes. And, of course, i got my toothpaste. <laughs> Look at that. It's so cool. I just, I love that. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. It just, it just looks nice. I just love it. You know, and kids like it too, so whenever they, whenever they come over to play, they can play with this type of stuff, you know. And just have fun with it. I used to do that all the time when I was a kid. I used to play with my grandma's, like, dollhouse-like stuff for Christmas, that she had out at Christmas time whenever she had, like, her villages and stuff out. It's so fun to play with. And it's just so fun to set up, too. Yeah, so not too bad if I do say so myself and give myself a little pat on the back. <laughs> it actually looks really super nice so far so a couple details here and there that I still need to add a couple more accessories that I well not a couple I would love to add like all of it like just go down a shelf and go get in my cart you know <laughs> but it's still really fun it's a nice little hobby that I discovered rediscovered I should say that I actually enjoy now of course I still have to buy my own house and I still got to build it up from scratch and do everything from scratch but so far, like, decorating the house and everything, that's, like, the easy part. But it's been really nice. It's been really therapeutic, like I mentioned earlier. And it's been really fun and just really cool to kind of go back to, like, my childhood days, you know, where I had doll houses and I would do the exact same thing. And I still have those old houses, too. Wow. Man, I still have them. Holy crap. <laughs> But it's always so nice, you know, and I just love miniatures uh, in particular. There's just something so fascinating about them. So I'm glad that I picked up this little hobby. You know, it's fun and it's never too late to start a new hobby. So, you know, just be sure that you have the means to do it, of course, because this, this hobby is pretty expensive. But it's really super cute. And of course, uh, maybe in the future I can learn how to make my own miniatures. I've been seeing a lot of people making polymorph clay figurines and, and little... Uh, trinkets and stuff on Instagram. That stuff has been advertised to me like crazy because of this stuff. But whatever. Uh, it doesn't bother me any. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you what I was working on and uh, some, it just helps me relax and, and kind of get back into the groove of things because my mind can get so busy sometimes. But yeah, it was a lot of fun and I wanted to show it off and let you guys know what the progress was. So it's it's looks it looks finished. It does look finished. I know. But, 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 but. There's always more I can add to it. <laughs> Just a little bit more, and then I think it'll be good. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you did like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more content from myself, feel free to do so down below. We also have a Discord server, so if you want to come on in, stop on in, or say hello, we'll all be there to greet you. And as always, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed today's little video. Don't forget to do awesome, be awesome, and stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.